we are. While today is understandably about Adam and Rachel, they want to honor everyone gathered here today who's traveled near and far, and that would be mostly far. <laughs> so, to support them in their unions or marriage today. So, Adam, Rachel, please ask you to turn around and take a look at everyone who's here today. So it is that we come together this afternoon to witness and celebrate the joining together of Adam Christopher and Rachel Christine in marriage. Adam and Rachel, this day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but also through the lifelong support of your family and friends who you just acknowledged. I am Tony since all you that you know I'm Adam's dad and um First thing I gotta say is that this is thank you all for coming. I know Adam said he came a long distance. I'd like to thank, thank Adam and Rachel. This took a lot of work, a lot of planning. This doesn't all just happen, so let's give them a big hand for everything that they've done. So sometimes small little things can grow into the big issue. So don't let it grow. Just throw it, forgive and forget. Don't let it grow, okay? But you have to nurture the good things, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little coupon book. <laughs> you give a little small things to each other every day, <laughs> and it will grow to the beautiful, beautiful relationship, okay? So let's all raise our glass and we'll have a toast. To the new, the newest doctor and soon-to-be doctor, Adam and Rachel Sinsoli. Rachel, since I've known you, I've never stopped admiring the person that you are starting with being brave enough to show your sense of humor as the only first year grad student in a class of older, albeit not very intimidating, graduate students, you have always found ways to stand out and impress me. You have this unique ability to state your mind and stand up for what you believe in, even if you're the only one saying it. As an introvert by nature, I'm always enamored with how effortlessly you mesh with others and seamlessly connect with just about everybody that you want to. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished and how you've accomplished it. You never back away from a challenge, never take the easy way out, and never let anything more than just delay your goals. I brag about you to almost everybody I meet because you have so much drive, ability, persistence, while simultaneously being kind, sweet, approachable, and loving. I feel truly lucky to have you in my life. And so, as we make our promises, I vow to help preserve the beautiful person that you are, inside and out. I vow to be there with you as you grow, whether that means walking alongside you, leading the way, providing a safety net, or just standing in place with you if you're where you need to be. I never want to change you or make you feel bad about who you are. The more I see of you and the more I learn about you, the more I love you. I can't promise we'll always, that we'll always be okay, but I can promise we will find a way to be okay eventually. Lastly, I promise that I will love you for you because I know that as long as I'm me, I can't picture not loving you. So I will love you, I will be faithful, forever work on creating our dreams. I've always dreamed of a love like the ones I've seen in the movies. The kind where I feel butterflies in my stomach, the tug like the pause right before the drop on a roller coaster. When I met you, Adam, I felt none of those things. I wonder, I wondered throughout my life what it would feel like when I met my soulmate. And it wasn't the chaos that I believed it would be, but rather the absence of it. No anxious feelings, no worries. Steady, consistent, and true to your words. You're my calm, my comfort, 
<laughs> I've paid my whole life for you, waiting for this moment over the years, and without hesitation, you have continuously shown me all the ways that you love me. I'm so happy that our paths cross, even if it be for Indiana. <laughs> Today, as I become your wife, I get to take on the privilege of loving you for the rest of my days. As we begin our new life together, I promise to be your safe haven, the one you go to to celebrate your victories, and the shoulder to cry on when times are rough. I vow to maintain the strong foundation of our marriage, for a well-designed foundation will keep a home standing to fight any forces of nature that might wreak havoc. Adam, I look forward to seeing our love flourish and bloom throughout the seasons. Out of all the titles, becoming your wife is the greatest title I will ever have. I love the person you were when we met, the man you are today, and all the versions of you that I cannot wait to meet. And by the powers vested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. If so inclined, you may kiss the bride.